Hi guys, today we're going to look at end time on the 4.3 PTR with Tim. Hey guys. Uh, hopefully the queue should be instant. It's got me in it. Yeah, there, there we you are. Go. We're actually in the instance anyway, but just to show you the background. So it's the loading screen. It's pretty jazzy. You saw that when we queued up there, they saying five buses. That's not right, is it? it? Was telling us that you could do five buses in here. Yeah, but there's only like four, isn't there? Oh, are they? Oh no, I thought they already started. No, really? there's there's actually like. Hang on, let's check the dungeon journal. It's a bit fucked at the moment, but I think on here it says four. So yeah, that must be a bug. Yeah. Oh. Four? Uh -huh. oh, I see five now. Really? On your dungeon journal? Bane, Jane, Sylvanus, Tyrade, and Miserat. Oh. Oh, this is the one you didn't do before. Um, what well, the basics here is, is you see these shards. Hang on, I'm not even there yet. Oh, come on. You can do that faster. So this is the blue one? Yes, this is the, this is the one we didn't see before. Uh, you see all those shards around here? Yep. Fragments. You collect collect these, basically. That's what you do. Uh, you take 16, uh, but around here there's running ads all over the place. These are originally mobs from Warcraft 3. Yeah, people should not pull, though. That would be not useful. Yeah, they're actually mobs from Warcraft 3, if you, you ever played that. Uh, no, I I did not. I did, but I, I never remember no. such things. Yeah, they're uh, they're all people. It's just like uh, in Battle for Mount Hydra when comes the time they have the pretty much exact Warcraft free buildings and characters and things like that. Just really big, obviously, because it's wow. Uh, it looks nice though. Uh, I like the priest look. Yeah, it's, uh, it's more like you need to kill this this light well. There you go. Oh, you have to kill the light well. <laughs> yeah. They need a, I think they should the... make it more obvious that it's a bad light well. <laughs> so I actually oh, thought but... it was a, a like a, a healer's one. You remember um, TOC? Uh, the dungeon, not the raid. Yes. There was mobs that were putting down light wells as well. Just yeah. for his boss. That was the same thing. I find that pretty good. Makes people think. There's an ad on the back. I definitely enjoy these instances though. Well, I like I like the idea of them. It's better than rehashing Zolgrub and Zolaman. Yeah, it's a total new instance. It's more fun. Uh, it will get boring eventually. Hopefully the the other two are extremely awesome. Yeah, Matt, with a bit more uh, videos and shit like that, and yeah. a longer. I hope it definitely has the uh, the ice cram vibe though, doesn't it? Mhm. Mm like the three ice cram dungeons. I do think it will be more of um, an alt, alt um, gearing up than anything else. Yeah, well, no, because the uh, the item level kind of makes um, raids completely redundant. The original raids. Yeah. So I mean, they drop what three five nine. The um, black one descent, yeah, three five nine. Yeah, three five nine, and Zolgrub and Zolaman they drop three five two, so it did still make them relevant. But these are what three seven five or something stupid like that. Three seven eight is the same three, seven, as eight. the um, exactly They're completely redundant. Could you kill that light well, please? Yeah. Will help a lot. It'd be funny it's if the do the NPCs actually use the light well? Uh, no, but a light well costs on its cells. You will heal up. All oh, right. So the basic mobs here is you have a mage during a teleport. You also have a fireman. A fireman. Um, yeah, that's like a hunter on this uh this looks. Beast Taze in, in melee. That's a bit odd. So you have a mage, you have a priest, you have a hunter, and you've got two shoulders. It's all sh uh. You've got two guys like warriors. <laughs> yeah. I think it's pretty obvious just from looking at him. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's still people do attempt to kill warriors before. Are these the same models that we used in uh, Hall of Reflection? The hunter is for sure. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure well. that all of them are. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. 
The district um, make it like corrupted. Yeah, but it's, it's more like it's word of rehash craft, isn't it? They rehash freaking everything. Mm -hmm. When when necessary, obviously, but yeah, but these mobs are pretty boring looking. Why don't they make them corrupted? Because that was Deathwing story, no? That he's being corrupted. Yeah. So I, I do. No, think I think I think these that. these NPCs are actually from the past, so I guess it does kind of make it relevant. Much this like the NPCs the future, from Hall of Reflection are also from the past because they're the souls that have been drained by uh, Frostmorn, I think. If I remember rightly, it was quite a while ago. A lot of light wells up, mate. Yeah, yeah, but this is a future though because that thing is dead. Yeah, but if you look at the actual NPCs' names... Time Twisted. Time Twisted. But then again, in Twisted, Twisted could implement corruption. Uh, yeah, I mean, a bit of corruption wouldn't go amiss, I guess. Keeping them kind of Tentacles. normal looking. <laughs> Tentacles from their backs would be nice. Yeah, just crazy legs and stuff like that. Gives them something to do. It's 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 just a... Um, what are the new ones in Cataclysm? There's only been a few new models of mobs. I find it nice to have awesome looking mobs. Well, have you seen some of the data mined models that they got? No, I've not had much much time to be around. Uh, if you go on MMO uh, yeah. Champion.com, they normally have quite a lot of data mined data. Oh, I'll check out after we done some this. of the mounts from the uh, the Dark Moon Island, which is of another feature of 4.3, I think. Dark Moon Island. Have you not heard of it? It's basically the Dark Moon Fair has been moved onto an actual island, so obviously. People, I'm guessing, don't really go to the Dark Moon Fair anymore because it's kind of stupid, isn't it? They've actually given it its own entire area now. Daily questing hub. Um, I'm not sure if it's dailies. It could be. Like it Kel isn't out yet, though. Keldenes was on. Um, and uh, still in, in my books. I still think the uh, Quell, the Isle of Quell Danas, is definitely the uh, the best questing daily quest hub. Mm -hmm. the f um, still trying to talk on vent. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I find that awesome that you could do things like that. Is there, yeah, the Torbered dailies, but they're boring. Yeah, I, I mean, the Firelands dailies you could do in about 20 minutes. I don't done them. I, I Have you not? Didn't. Well, I've, oh, yeah, I completed the zone, and I mean, I could do my dailies in just over half an hour. That's all of them. You know no. this hunter runs with the aspect of the pack. Um, which one? This hunter here. Yeah. So, so he does. He, he dazes me. <laughs> ah, he turned off now. I think he only put it on because we were moving. It's people with not much time you can see there. <laughs> time twisted. It is kind of annoying though. Like people get a pre-made of a character of a class they haven't really played in Endgame at all. They maybe got an old level 40 or something, therefore, oh yeah, I could probably play that at I'll high level. i and pull DPS that you want. No, it's, it's, it's not possible. You, you can, of course, do it, but it's not good for the group. It's Because you get all these spells and you're like, what on earth are these? Why aren't I? Like, That's what target dummies are for. Training dummies. Yeah. Well, I don't think they're completely accurate. I don't feel they are, really. Because, obviously, in instances, you get 15% luck of the drawer anyway most of the time mm -hmm. it's, 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 it doesn't tell you if you're good or bad but yeah I mean for example I, I was doing my druid while you were cuckooing about sound and I, I, I pulled up quite a nice numbers if I can see by just testing on the dummy every spell yeah but and you're in full, full tier 12 so there's nothing wrong with with the gear part only the skill part you want yeah. to say well, that, I guess that makes it better if everyone's in the same type of gear. It kind of makes it all about skill. True. But some people don't know the, the pre-made trick, what I told you about. Well, it I just mean, didn't work for you as well. Yeah, as well, in a couple of, couple of days I'm sure they'll open up pre-mades anyway, so... It's always full. Okay, this is the boss. Um, well, let's just try and explain it when we go, no? Mm-hmm. Oh, we have one DC. Let's just kick him. Good effort. He's a, she's a mage. Is is she not um, the one standing in a tower? 
Yeah, Jane, uh, like Jane and Proudmoore. She's in uh, Dalaran. Dalaran. Not nowhere else, because I can remember like a hidden alliance boss somewhere in Duswell Marsh. Oh no, yeah, that was her as well, originally. I think she moved. But I don't really keep up with Jane and Proudmoore, I don't really like her. <laughs> it's just a bit of a prick. Right, so, explain. Or is it explain. just literally tank and spank, avoid fire? No, not really. Um, there's pyroblasts, he costs. Always, you cannot interrupt this. Um, what I remember right is that she blinks at a certain point. So you will see her doing that soon. And then she will cost a... There's a blink. And she'll cost this. You cannot you stand that. in that. That <laughs> is an awesome looking spell. That is awesome, but it's not very... Not really much to it, is it? <laughs> I mean, I avoided oh, that. True. Without even knowing. Uh, see it. Oh, the bombs. That's as well. You see this... Um, come with me. Screw the boss a second. So she does blink, does that weird looking move. Well, so what are the bombs? You walk into them, they explode kind yeah, of Yeah, you want to walk in them, um, and they explode on you. But if, if everyone walks off, if you don't walk in them, they will do that massive AoE what just killed us. So, have someone always running into them, and not yeah. running away from them like that healer heal does, because there's no damage you take if you let it explode. We, have a, uh, we have a death D DPS. But I mean, <laughs> maybe maybe Jane are called, killed this character uh, this player because it's got a similar name Zelina <laughs> well, I'll, I'll call it Zayna <laughs> okay jealousy there yeah, that's what it or was she, or she just didn't know how to avoid things yeah here we go again oh shit it, it's oh look at who's that uh, that may have been me trapped you see what happens if you're trapped it just you, you, you just get frozen yeah that's a good thing. They should make it like run faster or be harder. Have have it run. Oh yeah, I mean it is testing, and it literally has been out for two days. So um, I, I quite enjoy it. I find the things pretty fun. To they avoid. need to make it harder. True. It needs. To but be it hard. might might just be easy mode because obviously we've um uh we've got the best gear. Yeah, but I still don't feel that the boss dies fast. Or do you? Eh, yeah, moderately. Okay, next one. I hope it's a dark place. Dragon Char. Yes. Which one? Emerald. Nope. Dark place. Ah, uh, Emerald, yeah. It is the Emerald Dragon Char. Normally <laughs> green. Green and uh, has West Sauron, in, I think, in Dragon Blood. <sighs> this is, I find the most enjoying one. It's yeah, it is a good one. You have to explain uh, as we go along. Yes, um, we got another DC. So that is a typical about PTR. Four point every PTR is many DCs and people just like, okay, I've done one boss and let's go. Yeah. Twenty one seconds. What is he doing? Fifteen seconds. Nine. Eight seconds. Three seconds. Oh, and also, guys, you can see us uh, having our Transmorgon. Um, currently at the PTR, the uh, Wrath gear is free at the um, PvP vendors. Um, and it, I find it awesome. But what What do you think about it? About the uh, Trans... How do you even pronounce that? Yeah, I keep it on Trans because I cannot pronounce it. Transmorphogride. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. But, uh, uh, but yeah, for you, those of you that don't know what it is, it's basically having old school gear and changing your new school gear into the look of that. As you can see, my character is currently in full Raffle Gladiator with the Raffle Gladiator swords, but I'm actually in tier 11 with some other gear, which I'm not too sure which it is. And if you see your tank, I am wearing Raffle as well, but I'm in full tier 12. You know, I see this getting a problem in uh, PvP because you could always look at people, their gear, and then see what quality they were about gear color. Yes, yeah, that's, that's true actually. I mean, How they must they do it. What, what they could do is possibly restrict it in the way that when you go into a uh, PvP situation, 
your gear is just not, it turns off all transmorphication, I guess is the term. Yeah, but it wouldn't because I, I went in an AV, as I told you. I was trying to get uh, some other tier items from earlier on, but I could just not get it. Um, I, I stayed, um, I stayed in my transmorph gear. It yeah, but I mean, it was just a time. suggestion. Yeah. It's yeah, because yeah. obviously it kind of, in a sense, it is kind of cool, but in another sense, it can ruin the game. Like, and a lot of people have been asking for this feature because obviously games like DC Online, and I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, use this, and it is a successful feature. It, it looks really cool. Yeah. Some of the combinations you can get is awesome. But I mean, in PvP, I don't see it's it's useful. I find it rather annoying to not know how you person is geared. But still, that makes you like on your feet, on your toes, on I guess. Yeah, because you have people in like full rares, like dungeon geared, or have people in full. What is it? Uh, it makes it a bit bit worrying for random dungeons though, because then you obviously have to go through and expect you can't be such a nerd that you just look at them and go, oh, they're in full tier 12 or something like that. <laughs> yeah. But it gives everyone a fair chance, maybe. Yeah, I guess. So yeah, do Sit you want to explain there. explain this in uh, part of the instance? Yes. No, guys, come come with me. You, We went the wrong way there. Everyone's going the wrong way. Oh, we're going? Oh, okay. Right. Explain. That... Okay, guys, you see that everyone is in shadow there, that mobs are in shadow. Uh, as they're in shadow, they take uh, damage reduced by 90%. You see us pulling everything to a light well. Oh god, I'm gonna die. The ends. There you go. Light well. And at the light well, they will get out of the darkness, of course, and they won't have the 90% debuff on them. And that is how it works, this, um, this part of the dungeon. Uh, we run around in a circle. There's a little back here that the first one opens again. But if you go to the first one where I think rats went, you uh, you won't get any mobs to pull. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> Basically, yeah. in in simplified, uh, keep the mobs in the light, and when they're not in the light, they obviously take zero, pretty much zero damage. So the best option is to obviously go to the nearest light well or the next one that opens up, because that's how the mechanic works. And then uh, you're good, pretty much. But do your tank a favor and stay with them instead of lacking behind going slash AFK because it's very hard because people are running to the light well, but they take 120 damage, so the healing has not been decreased. Maybe they should decrease the healing if you're not in the light well. That just killed our healer because he was running around healing and I could just not get the threat on me. Or I'm just can a we not battle res? Um, we don't have anything that can battle res, I think. Nope. I can heal. No worries. I think I think we're on pretty much one of the last ones anyway, so... Um... Yes. But no. Oh god, I don't want to wipe again. Please. Yeah, this is the last one here. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming, but I'm dying. Hang on, I'm bubbling this. Keep moving, keep moving. I'm trying to get this right. I'll try and uh, self-preservate myself. Yes, I don't have... No, I'm gonna die from this. I'm dead. Ugh. See guys, that is, is, is it may be a very useful thing to see. Is if, if you... Healing this, don't overheal everything. Because you, I can maybe uh, hand of protection you, but that is just a matter of time. You know they're blaming you. I know, but 90% reduced damage against 9% reducing healing. That's just healing aggro. I cannot... I cannot keep him um, tied to me. I just care. Just a random person. Leave if he doesn't like it. Oh, and he has. <laughs> Disconnected. Leave group. Yeah, right. Okay. 
I will explain it to them in a very easy way. Is that you saying hey to it? It was not him though who I was QQing. Yeah, I know. I just thought I'd say it anyway. Wait, did you go the right way into the instance? Um, I'm just saying... Don't pull so much. Um, okay. It's not really about pulling though, because they just appear. They come. They come to you, guys. There, there is it. it does seem that... That would be nice if, if it just uh, continues where you are, so you don't need to do this all over again. Yeah, it does. Very good. Oh, really? So we're on the last one? Yeah, but don't run straight through there. You can see there's a few maps up there. And that guy's still dead. Yeah. He can run in. He's lazy. I don't like lazy people. Let's see if we've got any more pets to throw out. Yeah, we'll put this guy out. You're showing off with your pets. Yeah. Well, my actual normal main has quite a few pets, but this character has three random ones which I acquired. Okay, he's not rezzing. So I I'm think just gonna get yeah, there. Just, no, no, he is. He is gonna run back now. We'll just continue, and obviously we could probably do this pack without him. So, and then we'll do the boss. It's not like his DPS is that insane. Yeah, it'll be fine. We over DPS this boss, uh, this whole instance anyway. So, I wonder what the average item level requirement will be. Mm, I reckon. No, I reckon about three fifty. 350. You can get 350 by doing heroes, heroics. That's what it's all about. With us. I think yeah. what, what they want you to do is obviously build through the heroics, so you'll start off at normals, then move on to heroics, then move on to troll heroics, and then move on to this. Troll heroics. Well, but people need to stack inside as well if they don't want ads on themselves. They should make that the, um, the shadow uh, brings a debuff on you as well, like reduce healing debuff. That would make it harder. Nothing more fun. I don't know. A lot of people are not that great, so that's why they've kind of made the whole World of Warcraft easy in general. A true, but there is no challenge now besides having your tank able to tank them in the light. And I think that if you pull them out of light, no. So they will never get the shadow debuff anymore. Oh, so once they're in the light, they never have the debuff? Yeah. Okay, so once they're in the light, it literally removes the debuff and you can kill them anywhere. That's correct. Well, that's convenient. But still, they need to be in the light first. And yeah, as you can see, look, this, this panther here is completely black. So you throw them over to the light over here. Well, that's a waste of time just for one. No? Wanna do it? Watch out if you don't pull the boss, mate. And where is he? And he just resets. Don't worry. Yeah, I think I think them ones are just for looks. Okay, you can't explain the tactics on this boss because I don't know them. I don't know even what it does special. I can't even remember. Let me just read okay. out. Ah, that's fine. I remember what to do, but I, I don't... He does a few casting abilities. That's that's for sure. I yeah, just there's not really much to it though, is there? It's, no. It's just a it few... Interrupt, there's obviously interrupt a few interrupts artist. that you have to get in. With, um, Only Stardust, nothing else. Yeah, get you cannot get it one person. You have the uh, Moon Dance though. If you look at the Moon Dance coming up now, he oh, charges yeah. and splits up in three. And if you see there, the uh, healer failed. He stuns if you stand in it. Yeah, but Stardust uh, does tw uh, 20,000 damage to everyone. You see that Shaman QQing about me being not good, but he just got stun two times and you see that small orb running around no look at the back now there's a small orb uh, running around about just circling oh yeah the orb so I guess that keeps him from running away from the boss potentially there's not just one is there there's loads it's, it's maybe a uh, enraged slimer oh not looking good I'm healing you, don't worry, tank is healing you. You know, as you should I, um, do. What is happening? I, I cannot get him off this rock, I find that very annoying. Wait, do I even need to be on this rock? I think I think she stays on the rock for the entire fight. But do you need a tank then? 
Moonbolt, he does. Man, what does Moonbolt do? Moonbolt does um, powerful blast of moon energy at a current target, inflicting thirty thousand. Stardust. But is this is this taunt? Is this ta is this needing a tank? Stardust. Stardust does twenty thousand to everyone. It's just a small healer check. So what's Tears of a Loon? Thirty uh, percent damage. Uh, Tyrandi, I guess, cries out for aid from the moon goddess Tears of a Loon. Rain from the sky and the remainder of the battle inflicting ten thousand damage within four yards. Okay. As well, you see a buff on him. Um, it increases his casting time by fifty percent now. Oh, yeah. uh, that is the Lunar gu Guidance. That's so of course it makes the Lun Lunar Guidance is at 80%. So it's, so it's, it's only a 2 that you get at 50%. It's not too bad. Here we go. A nice one-handed tanking weapon. No, not tanking. DPS. Yeah. Single-minded fury. Yeah. I would use it on a fight like Alice Razor, maybe, like you need an extra DPS, but still, with these nerves bringing to Firelands, there's no real need for it. I wonder how nerfed they will actually make it. It's been nerfed already, and it's... <laughs> no words for how Firelands has been oh, I I clicked on the wrong easy. One. Firelands is very easy now. <laughs> so this yeah. is the final. Um, the other two zones are randomly selected from a selection of three, I believe, or four. Is it four? Mm, four, yeah, yes. four, yeah. So the other two will be selected from a random selection of four different different dragon shires, but the last one, the bronze dragon shire, is always constant, which contains this final boss. And there's only two trash pools on this one. Because, uh, you know, easy mode, World of Warcraft. Yeah, uh, I'm at the first one now. Uh, they are two casters and two melee. But they don't do anything special. Just take him. How did you run past him? I just run in a circle. Oh. I like circles. Just, if you can interrupt, saves the healer some, uh, some mana. Well, I think we have quite good healer now. This you seen the um the increase I've done or the hot fix even. Some guys in my guild tells me that it's already been done. The uh, hundred yards atonement increase. Don't know if you saw that one. I have no idea. Atonement used to be fifteen yards. It's a way of decreased healing. No, no idea. Not the foggiest. I don't really look at other class changes other than warrior and gnome <laughs> changes. That is the stupidest question you can ask on a um. What is he doing? <laughs> He's getting oh, the job fine. done. Hey, my bitch. But, um, yeah, no, I only look at gnome changes and warrior changes, because obviously they're the only two things I ever care about. As you can't tell from my videos. <laughs> they always do gnome uh, starting zones. Yeah. And maybe a random horde if I'm feeling lucky. You ever done a full troll one? Troll. I Sorry. did it. I did it in the Cataclysm beta. It was it was great fun. Yeah, Prime servers, obviously, they kind of ruin the whole scripted events and all that. It's kind of just mm -hmm. down to the just the like kind of kill quests and things like that. They all work fine, but obviously storylines and stuff is that is kind of impossible in especially Cataclysm servers. Wrath of Lich King servers seem to do it okay these days because obviously it's a constant patch that they can keep working on. If that makes sense. Like, they don't have the fear of it changing patch and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I will click the timer. Um, so what? Oh, is the timer the middle bit? Yeah, that's that's like the, the right. thing that resets. Basically, guys, this is a fight where you um, where you kill the boss, but you fail in it the first time. So you get five attempts, one per. And you will reset time to the beginning of the fight. But it's sad, uh, Mazara will still have the damage done that makes any sense. It's kind of like Prince of Persia, if you ever played that. Um, you're basically fighting the boss and say he's down to, for example, 60% and you're, you've popped every cooldown you got. You can click the timer and it'll take you back to where you were at the beginning of the fight, but he will still 
stay the same at 60% uh, to really show you a, it's more of a example type thing so let's just see how we do so basically what I do is I tank close to the thing because I am the one um, resetting it I find it easy as a tank um, the only thing you need to watch out on this fight really is the fire swirly things what you can see now not sure if you can see it yeah it's kind of see it there it, it it's still sending it it's like the core basics um also a tip is you can blow all cooldowns you got on this one even and heroism then, yeah if you reset timer so this is it load. put me back to where i was originally when i started the fight all my cooldowns and reset and he's still at 90 something percent why does he put a greater thingy done it does taunt. taunt. Or is that me? You know, he keeps taunting. Who does? The um the elemental. Great elemental of a shaman. Hmm. Should that be? Uh, that, no, it's because the elemental is a tanking elemental. You should let the elemental just take the hits. No yeah, real rules. He does a it. breath, and uh, you won't don't want to take a breath. Pop all your cooldowns again, don't forget that one. Still have heroism for 8 seconds, I'm going to take a new heroism and then reset it again. It's it's a pretty much DPS race. If, if, don't know. What happens if you don't click the, um, the timers? I think it will take a lot longer. How I think it is very much doable though. I mean the boss has shit loads of health there. It's a very interesting mechanic. It's ni nice to see something different, I guess. True. But you have a uh, melee ranged and spell casting speed increased by 200%, movement speed increased by 200%. Yeah, I, I as can well. see the movement speed. That's yeah, the buff on yourself, the blessing of the brown striker. But I hate that, that fucking elemental. Because he does a breath, so everyone who stands behind me is... Stupid. Yeah, and then the elemental takes the aggro and it sends it flying. Yeah. I swear in uh, normal retail you not you can't put out both totems at the same time. Fire and elemental? I yeah, think. can you do yeah. that? I don't know, I've, I've not been playing with Shaman for a long no, time. friend plays Shaman, I don't think I've ever seen him do it. Who plays Shaman anyway? Except for my GM. <laughs> Shamans aren't too bad. <laughs> they are in in in, in Firelands. They're right. good healers, but they're not really um, best. You to overtake anything by shaman. This is a chest, guys. You see loot horrors running to it. Agility trinket. I've never seen that one. Wow. I saw one that. All right, so we are done. You don't want to show them the other um, instances, the other two. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. They can. Uh look some other videos of that so yeah okay. I'll uh, round this up basically that was end time uh, one of the first instances in the PTR currently up for testing you do not need an active World of Warcraft account you just need a World of Warcraft account to play um, so yeah obviously checking out links into all the things that you need to get on there in the description below this video along with loot lists and data mined information this was end time and that's Tim see you next time guys and yeah, see you next time.